Baltic Touch, the CCP. Now, then I'm going to be talking about the infamous 2010 Tivoli incursion. I'm going to talk to you about a couple points relating to it. The first one will be, after the Tivoli incursion, something happened in Jamaica that has never happened before or since. And the next thing is, remember one time people let say, you know, JDF does Corona Garden, go shot one bag of innocent people. The gunman never run there, where the gun them did there. I'm going to show you how 87 actually confirmed right, the funny thing them that the security forces were saying. I'm going to start off with some stats. Did you know, since independence, Jamaica has only had one time period where murder has declined for three years straight? Think about that. We just celebrated 60 years. Jamaica 60. In those 60 years, there's only been one time when three years straight murders dropped in Jamaica. Do you know when that three year period was? It was immediately after the Tiba incursion. The two years before the incursion, 2008, we had 1,600. And 19 murders. 2009, we had 1,683 murders. Extraordinary, right? Back to back, 1,600 murder years. 2010, May, the incursion happened. That year, murder dropped to 1,447. I'm counting that year because the incursion happened in May, so we had one of time to see if there would be any effects compared to the year before that. It dropped. 2011, murders dropped all the way down to 1133. This was the last year the JLP was in power. 1133. That is an extraordinarily low figure for Ironman standards. 2012, it dropped again to 1102. By now, the government had changed. But it's very clear that this drop was a result of the incursion because it go from 1600 to 1600 to 1400 to 1100 now after that we see go by 100 drop by 200 rise by 200 and we got ready in my opinion this time period the five years or so after the tivoli incursion is a missed opportunity if they had maintained the momentum who knows what jamaica did right now but why did murders drop after garden incursion? Crime don't happen in a vacuum. Tivoli wasn't operating in a vacuum. The garden man them, presidential clique, then did a link with people all over Jamaica. So even though the incursion happened in Tivoli, it affected crime right across Jamaica, as far away as St. James. So when it was clear, say, there was going to be a showdown, now for the people them who did converge in West Kingston to help the other man them fight. Then they come from as far as Moby, man from Clarendon, man from all over Spanish Town, North 87, join up with the other man them so they go fight. Now for them dead in West Kingston but we not going to hear about that more. You see, even when they don't factor in the one them lose them life, after the incursion happened, remember, because I know some people seem to have shot to remember me but after the encouragement done them did start sending out say everybody must come in all kind of done from you come like them like calling every single day people start running man start hide this is on top of the one them who were arrested or killed in the encouragement so we see this in the data crime drop the year encouragement and then from 1400 to 1100 think about that Back to back, 1600 murder years, right? To the incursion in the middle, and in the two years after the incursion, we had back to back 1100 murder years. That shown us that the incursion had a serious effect on disrupting crime in Jamaica. But, as we know, it didn't last. Look at that about the incursion. Everybody see the build up to it. Everybody see that 
West Kingston man them, Yard man them, the 87 them, presidential clique was ready for combat. They were arming themselves, they recruit man from all over Jamaica. They even recruited ex-members of the security forces to help them, right, train and set up booby traps and all kind of things, explosives. At the time, it was all over the TV, you know what I say? People were very clear. Leave the rest alone, and if you try to go for him, war are going. It was an open challenge. The whole Jamaica citizen. But you see, the narrative is a powerful thing. After the security forces enter West Kingston, it takes a couple of days to turn your favorite bad man in a crybaby. Then the thing said it would be like the previous incursion them. Because remember, there were some smaller ones. Police going in, copy shot fire. You know, then mainly some homeless people get caught in the madness, but the real gunman them get away and then them celebrate and laugh and see them win. That is what Garden was accustomed to. They were not ready for the 2010 incursion. Many of the 87s had become deluded into thinking that they were actually soldiers too. So them see some things in May 2010 that they had never seen before. Enough 87s were armed with all kind of fancy rifles. Seriously, them could have used them effectively and they couldn't. The snipers in the JDF had a field day with their favorite 87. But by the time the smoke cleared, the activists and the scholars them take over. You see, how come, how come smoke people dead and them only find this amount of gun? People were like confused. A true, because if smoke people dead, how come them to find like people were expecting say if you say 100 man dead if you find 100 guns clearly people don't understand how things work in a bad man place residents listening to this right now who come from a volatile community you know the answer to this question your favorite activist might not know or maybe you're a jamaican where you spend most of your time on foreign say so don't know here's the question what happens when a gunman drop in a bad man place what happens next? What's the first thing supposed to happen? The answer is take up the gun. When the man them drop in a garden, the residents them, a certain type of resident, obviously not every resident, but a certain type of resident is trained to take up the gun them, especially the kerosene them. This tactic is used to this day. Only people who are familiar with bad man place know me at all. You will see, it is seven get shot, drop on the gun, and you will see a group of kerosene running on to my ball and a hug him up. You might think say I am sister and him mother. Sometimes them don't know him. Them just know all the things said. Run go over to him, hug him up, take up the gun, and then walk off with it. From a distance, all you see is a group of mourning females. It happens so fast and so smooth, you don't even realize say, the gun gone. So by the time people reach over the know, all you see is a youth lie down on the ground. He's now, quote unquote, unarmed. They don't teach you that on your criminology course in Winnipeg. They don't teach you how easy it is for residents to take up bad man gun right, before police can reach the body. So, people are say, where the gun them there? Where the gun them there? If them only are find this little bit of gun and a smooch man dead, then that show you them just go kill bare innocent people. And even though all no guns are found argument is simply not true. Only by gun fine, thousands of ammunition fine. But the argument that, you know, JD was going to go shoot be innocent people and there wasn't no shootout and it was all a lie. Do you know who confirmed that there was a hell of a shootout in West Kingston? So we're going to ignore what the JD said. We're going to definitely ignore what JCF said. We're going to ignore all of that. Cedric Doggy Murray. Doggy's Diary. One of the classic videos on this platform. In Doggy's Diary, he details the Tivoli incursion. He mentioned, say, he man know for the man named from Mobile, go around there for help Dodos. He mentioned how hard him fire him AK. And now the smoke and the gunpowder start to affect all him throat. Do you know how much shot you have for fire? For that happen, you dip on your screen. Cedric Doggy Murray confirmed the JDF version of events. 
when it was first said that outsiders went to the Valley Garden to help fight, people say a lie, not Nagoso. But Doggy confirm it. Doggy is from Mobile. So, at 87, confirm, the outsiders go to the garden to help fight against security forces. Una sister Doggy accidentally back up the security forces version of events because people say nobody from outside the community no go in there. Doggy was making up things to get views. A doggy says so. Last time I checked, he does not work for the JDF, he's not a soldier, he's not a police. You see, as Doggy himself mentioned, they were not prepared for what happened in West Kingston. So when time things take a sharp left turn, the man named Uno originated from West Kingston never know the community like the man named Barn and Grode. The Mobile man them, the Clarendon man them, the Spanish town man them, none of them turn fool. The 87 them who come from Mobile and them place them. When time them start try to take with themselves, them start run going to some place where them not free run go. In the Tivoli incursion, it's not like a traditional or conventional warfare where two stem man them in a uniform I can see who a soldier and who a combatant. Enough of the people them who they labeled as civilians were 87s who dead and them gun them get taken from them. When time them account bodies, all they see is a man lie down on the ground. You don't see a uniform, you don't see a helmet, he's not wearing any boots, he's not wearing dark tags. Enough of the people them couldn't even identify the bodies. We don't find that strange. Remember they were saying, how much bodies pile up around here? I wouldn't know them, I wouldn't come from them, kill man and carry man come dump. Why would the JDF kill people somewhere else and carry them go dump them in West Kingston? People never identified the 87s because none of them never come from West Kingston. No, does that mean that no innocent civilian was killed in West Kingston? Absolutely not. There is no country that can deploy soldiers in an urban environment and innocent people don't get caught in the crossfire one way or the other. So when people say, stop tell lie about out of town man, go garden, nothing no go so, right? I just threw them one kill out the people them. Tivoli did not get reinforcements from outside of the community. I lie them I tell, I threw them one kill out people. Doggy again, accidentally, confirmed say that was true. Cedric Doggy Murray, in an attempt to document his life, accidentally shown what really happened in West Kingston. Outsiders from as far as Mobile went to help the guard man them fight the security forces and they got the shock of them life. Woktivist completely ignored this because it did not fit the narrative. So let's do this video because I know that enough people never even look on it from this angle. Doggy actually confirmed enough of the things them that the JDF was saying. Anyway, Hey Chan Squad, be open yourself. Yeah, yeah, you don't know. More life. Ultra Squad, stay circling. Bless.